Ilford HP5. Better yet, 15 years expired Ilford HP5. Why would you want to shoot expired HP5, let alone expired film? Expired film can be interesting in a lot of ways. You can get extra grain, uh, desaturation, color shifts, and it's also generally just cheaper. When a film expires, it doesn't become useless. It's not like it doesn't produce an image most of the time. It generally means it becomes less sensitive to light, and it can have the characteristics that I just mentioned happen more robustly in your images. I'm not going to get into how to shoot expired film too in-depthly, because there's a lot of other good channels out there that will explain it better than I can, but generally the rule of thumb is you add one stop of light per decade, uh, it is expired. But that rule is like pretty heavily debated on a lot of different factors, like if the film is a color negative, color positive, black and white, uh, what the original ISO was, and pretty much how it was stored. So since film loses sensitivity to light the longer it's expired, generally what you don't want to do is underexpose it, especially by two stops. I got my hands on about 60 rolls of expired film and wanted to try pushing some expired HP5 that I got, about two stops. Now pretty much everyone knows what Ilford HP5 is and that how good it looks when you push it two stops. So I wanted to see what 15 year expired uh, Ilford HP5 looked like. So my next question was, what do I shoot it with? Do I shoot with my Pentax 67 my Hasselblad 503CW, my Canon AE-1, or my Olympus Stylus Epic? After stopping and pondering about walking around downtown Chicago, I decided I'm going to use my AE-1 program because I love my 35-105 to lens and I thought it would pair well with downtown Chicago and the cityscapes. So something weird I noticed about the film is the exposed film lead turned this sickly green color, but it disappeared after a few cocks of the shutter.
So final thoughts, just as we suspected, uh, it is very underexposed. It is very grainy and in some cases almost unusable. Uh, this photo here was just uh, actually horrendous. <laughs> A lot of these photos were very underexposed and almost too grainy. I had to adjust the sliders on some of the, the shots, especially the clarity to even make out what it was. It looked like I shot through sandpaper and the photos were just not good. Would I shoot it again? I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, I've got a few more rolls. I've got two more rolls that expired in 2012 uh, in medium format. So I'll be interested to see how these kind of go through. I don't know if I'll push these ones two stops, maybe one stop. Uh, just to kind of help subdue some of the grain on these because those were bad on 35 millimeter but hopefully in 120 they kind of mellow out a little bit it doesn't look like I just shot a roll of sandpaper do I think I should have shot these two stops underexposed and then pushed them eh, I think it was a fun experiment I think it might have worked out a little better if I didn't push two stops and maybe only one stop I think also that the lighting downtown was also not the best for it. Uh, you can see in a lot of these shots that uh, the, the shadows are just completely gone. And if I had just a bit more light, I think they would have turned out fine. But yes, we'll do some more expired film in the future. I've got some, I've got a lot of cool stocks that I want to try and uh, I'm excited to try them. Okay, bye bye.